Hi there, welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. So let me tell you a quick story. We had a, Tony and I had a customer. We cleaned a lot of buildings. One of them was a really big industrial manufacturing environment. Big customer. My contact was not the owner, it was not the president or vice president, it was uh, an office manager in one of the buildings. Um, this lady in this situation was very difficult. Um, and I remember her name, that tells you how challenging this was. Her name was Irene. Um, and it's every visit that I went out there for a customer service visit and so on, she was just in a miserable, sour mood and sometimes picky about certain things and never really seemed very happy about anything. And it got to the point, you know, what do you do in this situation? Well, we, we hung in there and the end of the story is she eventually got moved to a similar position but in another city nearby in Ohio. Well, it resolved itself. Why do I tell you this? Because there's going to be gentlemen or ladies that are your contacts. And in a building, it may make you feel like, should I just drop this difficult customer? And I just want to point out that there's a difference between being kind of a, kind of a frustrating, irritable person and being someone who's so difficult that we should drop you as a client. Well, what justifies possibly dropping you? Well, first of all, if you're being abusive to either you as the owner or to any of your people, there's no, there's no excuse for being abusive. If you're not making money because the agreement that you held to, either they're not making payment or they're changing the terms or what they expect from your people, so all of a sudden every month you're not making money, at some point that has to be resolved or they have to go. I mean, this can't continue on forever this way. I do remember one gentleman, now that I think about it, one of our accounts, another thing that happened is he poked me right in the chest. He goes, this can't continue. I think one time he poked me in the chest. Well, we had a little conversation at that moment, actually. I told him, and uh, that stopped. It turns out that he had an alcohol problem, and actually in that situation, he was actually, uh, I think he resigned. He was getting near retirement, so that actually resolved itself, too. Because that can't, that kind of behavior can't continue either. So I guess the point is this though, there were many times where we did not have the perfect contact for us to deal with. In a home it's different, it's basically the homeowner but it's the same principle. But in the commercial work you're dealing with sometimes several contacts and it's not always the owner or the property manager, maybe an office person. And so I would only tell you to keep in mind something you probably already know, but it's important to remember and to reinforce in yourself. Their problem a lot of times isn't about you. And the way to see this clearly is they're the same kind of uh, irritability with everybody and a pain in the neck with everybody, not just you. So if that's all it is, try to... Uh, uh, compartmentalize it that that's the way that is and as long as it doesn't dip over into abuse or financial problems and so on maybe it's a kind of thing that you can kind of disconnect with a little bit and not take it so personally the reason why is very often over time it resolves itself and then you've got you've kept your good client and maybe you have a brand new contact till next time remember you can do this you really can